A befitting send-off for a man described as a giant of the legal profession. Justice Kylie Le Kenneth Mtiane was born on the 13th of September in 1944 in rural Umzinyati, north of Durban. From humble beginnings, he was admitted as an attorney in 1975. He served in various positions within the legal fraternity at home and abroad, including acting as a judge of the Constitutional Court in 2011. He was later appointed Deputy President of the Supreme Court of Appeal the position he held until his retirement in 2014. His family says he has left an indelible legacy. We have experienced love, real love, non-judgmental, inspirational. He has inspired all of us to be the best that we can be. His deeds, his works speak on his behalf. Chief Justice Mohueng Mohueng says the judiciary still had plans for Judge Mtiane even in his retirement. I felt tears welling down my eyes when I saw the letter that was drafted already that I was on the verge of signing, appointing Boot KK to chair a judicial conduct tribunal. Two other people who were to serve with him in that committee were already aware that he was going to be leading. Now the whole thing has been scuppered. He continued long after his retirement to chair a committee that is responsible for the transformation of the judiciary. So we have lost. Delivering the eulogy, Premier Sikhe Zigalala hailed Mtiane for his role in fighting for justice. Justice Mtiane's passing has left us poor because he departed with a vast wealth of wisdom and local knowledge which the country desperately needed. Justice Mtiane was laid to rest at Red Hill Cemetery. He is survived by his four daughters, Simpiwa Makanya, SABC News, Durban.